A lot of outrage on social media over USA Track and Field's decision to leave Shakari Richardson, the fastest American woman on the track, off the Olympic relay team after she tested positive for marijuana. Richardson was initially suspended for 30 days, which meant there was still a chance that she might be able to participate in the 4x100 relay late in the Olympics, but now she's not even on the roster. And in response, a lot of fans took to social media to show support for Richardson, some even calling for a boycott on watching the Tokyo Games, although Richardson seemed to be advocating against any kind of a boycott. One person showing support for Richardson is Ricky Williams, who had a record-breaking football career. The Heisman Trophy winner suspended from the NFL for using marijuana himself. And he's joining me now. Ricky, it's great to have you. I really appreciate your time. Let's start with your Twitter feed because you said this is some BS. They're still suspending people for this in 2021. I mean, the yeah. bottom line is we've, we've come a long way, but we're not quite there yet, right? Yeah, you know, and I'm speaking from personal experience, and it's a unique experience of, of being punished for my cannabis use, and uh, and so I I understand what you know what she's going through and what it feels like, but but I think I've also come out on the other side, and I think the way that she's handling this is is beautiful. She's she's looking she's looking past it to her future, but uh, but it's it's a statement, and I think because of this, it's forcing us to have these conversations, and I think we're gonna see we're gonna see some regulations and rules change because of it. How long do you think that'll take, Ricky? I mean, even the White House now today just said that that this should be an issue that should be revisited. How far away are we, do you think? Well, if the White House is saying this, the fact that we're having this conversation and we haven't had this conversation in sports, it's all, I mean, I remember back in 2004 when I was going through my issues with the NFL, even the Players Association, who's supposed to stick up for the players, were mum. They were silent. They didn't say anything to stick up for me. And now we see people around the country, athletes, people from everywhere, you know, standing up and saying something. So I think we've, we've come, we've come a long way, but this is how change happens happens and I you know I feel I feel so proud to, to be able to speak on this and to be a part of this USA track and field could have made a statement about this Ricky I mean by allowing yes. her to, to, to take part in the relay at the end they could have said look she served her 30 days we're good let's go but they didn't do you think that's a mistake I think it's a missed opportunity. You know, I came across an article the other day talking about companies now really relaxing their regulations around cannabis. Number one, because they, they see to retain young talent, they, they have to open their mind and they have to evolve. And so I think this was a great opportunity for, for U.S. Olympics to, to make a statement and really support the youth because all the numbers show is, is cannabis is here to stay. And it, it's why you stepped away from the game, as you mentioned in 2004. This particular situation is going to cause Shakari Richardson a trip to the Olympics. Are you still um, upset, or I guess you picked the word, about what this cost you in your career? Honestly, I, I'm not upset. You know, I came across a post that Shakari posted back in 2018, and it said, I'm more than just an athlete. And, and I think, you know, it's one thing to say that, but the actual living that out means that you, sometimes you have to be controversial. And so I, I think if I hadn't gone through these things, I just would be another football player. And no one would be wanting to talk to me right now. But I think because I stood for something, I was able to take, you know, the platform of a professional athlete and turn it into something bigger than just sports. Well, it's and I think, it, yeah. Go ahead and finish your thought, Ricky. No, I'm saying, and I think to me that, that, at least for me, that feels more meaningful than just running up and down a football field. Well, the beautiful part of your story, too, is it really took you stepping away from the game to, to find yourself. True? Oh, yeah. And I think one of, I mean, another issue that I think that this brings to the surface is a lot of us are in situations where we have to make a choice between, you know, what the outer world says we should do and, and what our heart tells us we should do. And, and I think for me, I found that cannabis was extremely important for me to take care of myself. And, uh, and I did that. And, and I've shown through my whole story that I walked away, I did things my way and I came back and, and now I'm so much healthier and happier than I've been before. And, and I am not ashamed to say, oh, Cannabis had a lot to do with that. Yeah, and I think people will see this is not clearly a, a performance enhancing drug. The, the question for a lot of people looking at your career is it's amazing that you ran for 10,000 yards in the NFL using marijuana. How did you use it? Did you ever smoke before a game? No, no, I, I wasn't. I wasn't one of those guys. For me, I used it for recovery. 
uh, both mental recovery, emotional recovery, and physical recovery. I mean, for me, I'm a sensitive guy. And so being in a football locker room, playing such a difficult sport was very stressful for me. And I found that cannabis helped me kind of reset my mind and get my mind right to get back up and do it, do it again the next day. Tell us about your mission right now, because you're on a mission to try to bring sports and cannabis together with your own company. Yeah, it, I mean, it's, it's from my own experience. You know, I, it's funny. I tell the story of when I was at the University of Texas running for the Heisman Trophy and I was going through a really difficult time and nothing I could do. I, I couldn't shake it. And my friend said, hey, you need to smoke some of this. And I, I kind of laughed at him and said, I can't do this. But he convinced me to do it. And it was the first night that I was actually able to sleep. And it really helped me reset myself and learn to take care of myself. I ended up having back-to-back 300-yard -back games following that, and it really got me back on track. And so I think football, sports in general, is is a metaphor for life, that we have to go out there and we have to, to conquer and we have to, to battle and go through challenges and become successful. But we also have to learn to take care of ourselves so that we can keep doing it throughout our whole lifespan. Yeah. And, I, and I think it's cannabis for me is a, if you use it consciously, it's a great way to take care of yourself. Ricky, before we let you go, I want to get you on the new uh, likeness image uh, use rules for NCAA co uh, college athletes. You are in favor of them getting paid. Are you concerned at all about how this might go wrong? Well, I think I think we have to be concerned. Um, be, you know, I think we just have to not take it away, but we have to think what else can we add? And I think more education about money, about what to do with money, how to how to handle money, how to think about money, I think is extremely important. I know at least from my personal experience, when I got to college, I, I didn't know very much about money. And I think me personally making money at that age, I, I would have gotten myself into a lot of trouble. So I think we just need to, to add some education to us and, and realize that money doesn't solve all of our problems. Ricky, your story is fascinating. I've been a big, huge fan of yours as a player and a big fan as well as how you've used yoga and astrology and spirituality to find yourself and find meaning in your life. And if you want to know more about that, you'll find him online. Just Google Ricky Williams and you'll learn all you need to know. Ricky, again, it's great to have you. Thank you for your time. All the best to you, my friend. Yeah, this was great. Thank you. Ricky Williams, former NFL running back and CEO.